Hello everybody, Phantom Darkness 135 here. Uh, for the first time, recording right from school, I remembered to bring my headset up this time, and today we're going to be doing a phantasmagoric entertainment game called Fred's Adventure. Actually, oh, hold on a second. There we go, I want to adjust my mic real fast. I actually played this a lot when I was little, and uh... It's been in the back of my mind to do a walkthrough for this. I just had a trouble finding it, and where do I find it? But ArmorGames.com, one of our favorites. So I'm going to try to do a sort of full disclosure walkthrough, meaning we'll get 100%. Uh, what that might mean is um, maybe fast forwarding, or let me turn this up for you. I'll let you enjoy this intro real fast. Every time I hear that song, Oh Fortuna, I think of that uh, misheard lyrics video. If you haven't watched that, look that up. Anyway, so I wanted to do this walkthrough a long time ago, but uh, it's a really fun game. If you, the controls are kind of weird, you got to keep selecting what you want to do, but with my help, we'll get through, we'll have 100% completion, that's what I was talking about. First thing you want to do is look through the window, oh it's much too dark though, first we got to go inside I guess, but um, there's a lamp over here, right here, 100% completion might mean I need to fast forward a couple things, we'll see, so in here you want to open the drawer, take out the pepper spray, Anything you get, you have to put in your inventory by hand. And it's got kind of a Resident Evil sort of thing. Oh yeah, underneath here is a safe. The key to that, if you want to go right to the ending, is 070889, right there. So now you have that, and I can close that out, and you don't have to worry about that. And you also want to grab the vacuum from over here. And put it in your inventory. Whoop. Alright, now we want to look through the window, and we can see something under the couch, switch back to touch, grab that, and it's a strange metal object, put that away, it's actually, oops, you want to grab this hammer right here too, it's actually a metal clover, and if you listen closely here, Fans of the Wind Waker will know what that song is. There's actually a lot of good references in this game. Oops. You want to talk to this guy. And he says, keep an eye out for his lucky charm. Well, that would be the Metal Clover. So give that to him. And he'll give you a fishing rod. Which we'll use over here. To catch a really fast fish. So what I found is, I think right over here is where I used it last time. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. Fish just like darts back and forth here. And I just kept lowering it into the exact same spot over and over again until I caught him. There's probably a better way, but brute force always works. Maybe I should try over here. Nope, not now. Right up here is where he usually gets off to, right? No, get it. There we go. So once you get the fish, you're going to head south, not here, but at the next screen. Yeah, that's death. We'll, uh, we'll get back to him. Give the homeless guy a fish, and he'll give you a key. We're going to put that away for now. And, uh, you know what, let's do the death thing right now. We'll just get it over with. Oh, actually, just a little tidbit that's kind of weird. If you talk to this guy and use the uh, ellipsis... He turns into death for some reason. Probably a bug. I thought it was kind of interesting. So, talk to death. Ask him about your bike, and he says he'll put you in his realm. So we're going to go have a good time in hell. Can't get out right there. New arrivals are supposed to arrive this way. And if you talk to this, what is actually an old lady... I'm assuming it says hello dear and she gives us some pretty jewelry 
And you want to put the oops. You want to put that away. And talk to this guy. Oh, he's already talking. Talk to this guy up here on the wall. And he'll fall. He tells you the guard will fall for anything. That includes hopping to, into lava for an emerald. So. Salsa cookies, windmill cookies. Please tell me someone else knows what I'm talking about when I say that. It's such a good video. Anyway. The only unlocked locker is over here. And you want to put the costume on. And now I can get out of here. Um, I guess I'll talk to this guy since I said I should probably talk to everyone if I'm doing a 100% walkthrough. He doesn't help you. He just says funny hippie stuff. Alright, so we get out of here. Talk to death again and ask him again, but he says he won't do anything for us. And he calls us mean names. So we're going to suck him up in a vacuum. Or at least try to. And he runs away. You can't pick up his, uh... Oh gosh darn it. I just forgot what those are called. Scepter? No. Scythe. Scythe. Can't pick that up, but you have to keep chasing him with the vacuum. He's right over here. And then he ends up right back here. And we finally get him. This guy over here is the owner of this here hammer. And if you give it to his butt, he will give you his ladder. If you talk to him again. Feel free to use the ladder. So we're going to do that. And take it. Oh. I guess the uh, cutscene wasn't finished yet. We're just going to pass him right up. Don't make eye contact. And use the ladder here. And you want to get two eggs. Not just one, but two. And grab another one. Alright. We're going to take. actually leave this one in your hand. We're going to take this to the bird guy. Who turns into a real bird and drops this guy a ring. Now you want to keep that in your hand for now because we're going to go beat a witch. Wayne Brady's going to have to beat a witch. I'm sorry, that was a really bad reference. I, I promise I will stop trying to be funny and just do the walk there from now on. I, I apologize. it won't happen again. Alright, over here, I'm going to grab the crowbar, put it in there, and uh, you want to grab the ring right now and get it ready, because it will give us a misspelled warning, and I guess you don't have to click her, you just have to uh, hit her with the ring, and then we can go into her house full of references and other goodies. I'm going to grab that the vial and you want to use the key on this chest over here inside the chest we're going to find a hint on what to do next so taking a closer look the holy light can be created with water of purity water of saline essence of life essence of death in that order so we gotta go collect all that stuff in this vial and we're going to do that. Actually, give me the cheese. We'll do the cheese thing first. And then we'll get the uh, different elements. So you're probably wondering why we're holding cheese. Well, it's for this hole over here that we can catch a rat in. So we'll take that guy. Go ahead and get your vial out to collect the uh, items. Do, do, do get some water from the I guess I can't use oh I know why we need to get something else first should have done that first first we need the water without saline in it though whatever pure water I guess and that is all the way over here all the way down here and in this cave so now we get that water Head up. Q 
Keep going. Keep trucking on. Actually, while we're here, we'll just go ahead and do this little side quest. Go ahead, we got a couple of items to collect down here. So first, get out your crowbar. Oops. And use it on the log to get some flint. Take on it. I hate this inventory thing. Put the flint in your inventory. And then keep going on here. Knock on this guy's door by using the touch. And get the rat out. This guy's obsessed with his cat, so you give him the rat and he'll give you some cool shoes. They're very light and soft, and they're going to come in handy later. Alright, now we want to head back up to that uh, pond to get some saline water, rather. So, grab your vial, put the stuff in the pond, or salt water. And let's see, what else do we need? The essence of life, which would be the egg. And death. But before you do the death thing, you have to actually examine it and flick the switch to blow instead of suck. And then light it with a flint. And we got ourselves a holy light. So, we're going to bring that all the way back down to the cave. Which is where our the next chapter of our adventure will start. Keep walking. Alright, in the cave we light the torch. It'll light itself. So we can put that away. A word of caution. There's only one room up here that matters. And it's this one. It's an interesting book. And it's... It's in a different language that you can translate. I'll just tell you what it says. If you want to... Uh, I already forgot what it says. If you want to cross a platform, something like that. If you want to pass safely, you need to tread lightly, is this word, meaning the light shoes we got, on the platforms. And that actually has double meaning. You're going to need to memorize those letters or just watch me do it, which is why you're here in the first place. So the word of caution is if you go in any other room, you'll see these little lines. Well, actually, I'll go ahead and show you what they do. They take your head off. They're human fishing lines. Not fun at all. So instead of doing the A... Oh, I forgot to put the shoes on. That's why. There we go. We should have green shoes on. So you put on the shoes and we're ready to go. The room with the platforms is all the way to the right. so quiet and before we can get in there we gotta use the glass vial with the holy fire in it alright now here's the fun part we have to step on the actual word platform or else we get arrows I won't show you that one just because I don't want to mess up and I probably will mess up anyway so you just want to do the correct, correct symbols that spell platform so it is as follow. Oh, I forgot to go up one. That's what happens when you step on the wrong platform. In case you were wondering. And I just did it again because I forgot that there's no more rooms. Let's try that again. Careful. Okay, not careful enough. It's the bottom one. Come on. Alright, down here. Up. Over. Over, over. Oh, cripes. I think it's down. Yep, down. And over to the control panel. This part I might need to speed up because it's going to take me a while to get all these together. You have to get a row of four, five blue, five green, and then five yellow. So if I need to, I'll speed this up. Alright, that wasn't too bad. And actually, there's a glitch in this little room where you can actually go out of the walls and keep walking on forever. Discovered that by accident, 
So you can see Fred just gets smaller and smaller, and you can use it to pass these platforms up. Although I don't think they'll kill you, even if you do try to walk back. I'm, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, so a secret door has opened somewhere in here. And uh, it turns out to be the same room where the bookshelf was. And it's in there that we'll go to another cutscene. and find our bike and the thief that stole it and you really just want him to die right off the bat right now right now I want him to die Alright, so you can actually throw all four of these. Whoa. And since we're doing Hey, what did I ever do to you? Bastard! Since we're doing hundred percent completion, I guess I'll do all four of them so you can see what they do. What are you trying to do? Bastard! Hey! Why didn't he just do that in the first place? Alright, so the last one is the actual one that works, the pieces of flint, surprisingly. They go right through them. Help. Help me. Please help me. Please help me. No way. Very slow response time, Fred. Alright, this next little bit, I might have to fast, I definitely will have to fast forward. We're going to fight a dragon. Yes, a dragon. And it's in a sort of Final Fantasy uh, layout. And my only advice is keep using the ice magic over and over and over again. Keep using the elixirs and potions. And um, that's pretty much all you can do because it takes forever to kill this guy. So, probably going to have to fast forward. I'll try not to talk so you don't miss anything. Not that you would want to hear me talk anyway. And, uh, yeah, we'll get this guy beat. See you in a bit. Alright, I tried to turn that on before I turned my mic on. But uh, yeah, the dragon runs away, and uh, I actually died the first time because I used my potion, or my super potions when I should have used my regular potions. One sec. Okay, I guess I'll talk. Um... But yeah, what you want to do is save your super potions for when you're really low on health. And then just use your potions if you're above 100. Use your elixirs first, then your ethers. And it takes forever, but just by using the ice attack you can defeat them. As fast as possible. Still not that fast. Alright guys, there's your mega shortcut again. Oh, I guess I didn't have to write that down. Yeah, I'll turn that off so you can hear me for a few more seconds. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, that will take you to the end of the game to be the final sequence, and I think that's it. So thank you for joining me for this long Fred's adventure. Hope I helped you out in some way. Have a wonderful day. Come check us out on Facebook if you're so inclined, and I'll see you next time. I am Phantom Darkness 135 and I am out of here.